Okay, so here's the board. I'm actually going to modify that little crystal right there. It's 20 megahertz. I'm going to change it out with a, a little socket where I can put my own crystals in and uh, therefore change the speed of the laser. Okay, so take note of where all your connectors are. I'm going to uh, get in here and see about removing this board before I solder. So. Uh, again, I took pictures and I guess I have video to see where everything goes. There are three things to unplug. One, two, and then there's this ribbon here that needs to be unplugged. And then there's also four screws. A little blurry, sorry. Make sure your power's off. Okay, I have removed it and I'm going to put on... Let's see if I can show you this. Oh, cross my fingers that I didn't break everything. Okay. Okay, I apologize I didn't document this uh, more carefully, but I removed the uh, existing um, uh, crystal from the board. I re-soldered the connections, which was a trick, I'll tell you. And then I made a little mount here that uh, so I could swap out crystals. The system comes with 20 megahertz. Right now I have a 10 megahertz and indeed the axis does move about half as fast. So it'll help be able to cut down cut, when cutting uh, deeper materials. And I want to say thanks to Mike. Uh, you'll see on the screen here's his website if you want to take a look at it. This is uh, his inspiration. Um, I'm actually gonna do something else with this mod too, which I'll reveal later. Um, but so, but uh, again, be careful. Um, when I first took the the uh, the old uh, uh, crystal off, um, I had to go in and scrape the contacts, and then I had to be very careful to resolder all the settings. And then I uh, glued a little. Uh, you can see I I glued the uh, the plug to the side so it doesn't move the wires. Anyway. Um, let's go ahead and run it and I'll show you what I mean as far as it running uh, out to half the speed. Okay, first off, um, I actually put a little aluminum plate down because I was engraving some uh, paper and that just allowed me to, um, for the paper not to fall through. But just to show you what these crystals look like, that's them right there. And they come in different frequencies, different megahertz. The system comes with the default of 20, and uh, but you can get several different uh, different speeds. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. I'm actually not going to turn the laser on. I'm turning the machine on, but not the laser. So I just want to show you that the head does move slower. Well, that's it. Very nice. You can swap out the different crystals to get different speeds. Okay, here is one more video. Uh, same file as before, just a circle. Um, I have now inserted a 3 megahertz crystal. We're moving much slower. The only bad thing is that uh, when it goes home or goes on to the next object, it doesn't speed up, it stays the same speed all the way. But if you want to cut some deeper acrylic, this is your option. Um, again, there is, I guess, another way to, uh, to solve this problem, but uh, uh, perhaps we'll get to that later. Um, but right now, this will work pretty good for cutting deeper acrylic. And we're almost done. Yep, it's done. Again, I didn't turn the laser on. I just wanted to show you how slow the head moves. This little machine is starting to uh, definitely improve itself with the little modifications. Um, anyway, that's the only way I've really found uh, to, uh, to cut deeper or controlling the vector speed uh, with uh, newly draw.
Again, I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial.